So at this point, you're probably wondering why the hell this random guy with a thousand subscribers is on your feed. And quite honestly, I can't blame you. Let me just tell you, I have some information that you really might like to hear. I really want to share my story on how exactly I came to get a thousand subscribers, all without exerting little to any effort whatsoever. It was just by chance that I had logged back into YouTube and realized I was at a thousand subscribers or damn near a thousand subscribers and I had no clue what had even happened. Everything starts in the year 2015. This is when I actually made my YouTube channel and at that point I was still 15 years old so I was just watching stuff like Minecraft YouTubers. Minecraft YouTubers were still a big thing back then but in the back of my mind I always had a desire to run a YouTube channel just because of the fact that you could be creative, you can make something that you like and that you think other people would like. Judging on how well you do, you can end up making a living off of something like that. Fast forward a couple of years, I was about 18 and this is when I uploaded my first video. It was far from good, let's just say that. I had no idea how to edit videos. I was just doing the bare minimum, trimming down the clip adding some audio in the background and to me that was that was more than adequate but then i kind of started to realize watching other people's channels the differences between my videos and theirs and it was quite a drastic difference not only was the editing on point their camera quality was amazing you could just tell that a lot of passion went into that video i made a few videos and it was it was things that i was passionate about gaming headsets uh, a couple of games that I would play with my friends, stuff that I really enjoyed like that. Nowadays, you really have to work around the algorithm, which to some may seem super discouraging. You can make something that you like. You have to manipulate the algorithm at the same time. You cannot get around that. You can make a amazing video, but if you have a crap title and a crap thumbnail, it's not gonna go anywhere. To this day, I still struggle with thumbnails and titles and I've had a couple of videos that have reached almost 200,000 views and that's really the basis of this video. I uploaded those videos and I did put effort into the thumbnail, I put effort into the title and I knew that it was something that I had a problem with and it was something that other people can relate to because I know I can't be the only one that's wondering why do these headphones sound so bad they cost over $300 well let me try and fix that so having a background in audio and eq interfaces and stuff like that i took it upon myself to figure out a way to make them sound better threw it all into a video i made it decent it, it had decent editing just enough to you know you can kind of tell this guy he knows what he's doing but he has a long way to go so i upload them the first one was on the astro a50s um, it was in 2021. It was EQ settings for it. I uploaded it and then every couple months I would upload a video not really paying attention to, you know, what was going on with my other videos because at that point I was just having fun with it and if I did get a few views on one video, great. If not, oh well. Um, yeah, I, I still had fun making them. Well, it wasn't until about three months after I released that Astro A50 video when I finally installed YouTube Studio and I checked on my analytics. Not only had I shot up to three, 400 subscribers from I think 40 or 50, if I remember correctly, but the video was at 90,000 views. So I was shocked to say the least. I clicked back into the video and I looked, what did I do in this video to cause it to blow up at such a scale like this? It came down to the thumbnail. It was niche. It solved a problem that people had, a common issue. And then the title. The title portrayed exactly what the video was about. The title was something that you would see yourself typing into the search bar to try and answer that exact question. A big problem that people can have is finding the motivation to actually push themselves to produce content despite all their previous videos not getting the recognition they deserve, they're not getting views, they're not getting likes or comments. It, it almost feels like you're just putting it out there. You're putting out content, but no one is seeing it. 
you're the only one that recognizes how good your content is and the message that it portrays. What I want you to do is I want you to think of your next video idea and I want you to put a lot of thought into it. I want it to be something that you're knowledgeable of and if you're not knowledgeable of it enough, then just go and do a research. Do a little bit of research. If you're going to say things in a video, you want to make sure you at least know what you're talking about. The people that are watching your video will recognize that. Know what you're going to talk about. Come up with your title for your video first. You want a title that portrays exactly what you have in mind and exactly what you want people to experience when watching your video. You want a captivating title. You want a vibrant thumbnail that really pops because your video, there's a good chance it'll end up on someone's homepage of YouTube suggested. You want it to pop. You want somebody to look at it and be like, hmm, that's interesting. Same thing goes for the title. You want to make sure that your title matches what you're trying to portray in the video. The thumbnail is catchy, vibrant. You can just look at it and you're drawn to it. And you want the content of the video to be in the realm of what the title of the video is. It doesn't have to follow word for word what's in your title, but you want to at least stay in that box of what's in that video. You don't want to veer too far off or else somebody's going to lose interest. You want to catch their attention at the beginning, and that's going to be what causes them to want to finish the video. So look, I know it can be hard to find the time to record a video, edit a video, make a thumbnail, come up with a catchy title. It is a lot. In actuality, it is a lot of stuff to do. But you got to realize there's no rush. Nobody's rushing you to put out a video. I, even if you come up with a schedule for yourself, nobody's going to bash you for it. You want to take your time. You want to make sure that you're making something that people enjoy. But most importantly, something that you enjoy. Because if you don't enjoy doing something in life, you're not going to stay doing it forever. It's just like a part-time job that you get right out of high school. You know you're not gonna stay doing that forever because you might hate every second of it while you're over there. You just know that it's something you have to do. And knowing that it's something you have to do is what's keeping you there in the first place. YouTube isn't something that you have to do. You have to find something in you that really makes you feel like, okay, this is, this is rewarding. This is something that I can continue doing because I'm talking about stuff that I love it all comes easy to me. The views don't seem impossible to get. You just have to understand that just like anything in life, if you don't enjoy it, it's not going to stick around. Once you gain a following, you can slowly branch into other niches. It doesn't matter because at that point, like I said, you'll have a community. They'll be there for you if you're there for them, supplying them with quality content that focuses on what you're all about. I'd love for all of you to stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I'm not only making this video to help people, but I also enjoy this. I enjoy this kind of stuff. I enjoy teaching people because I myself enjoy getting educated by YouTube videos, by reading things online. If you really did enjoy this video, I ask you to subscribe, stick around. We'd love to have you over here. I will catch you guys in the next one. Good luck.